Alrighty, well, morning everybody. Well, um, yeah, it's been a long time since I've done a Gem to War video. Um, but before I continue on, uh, like usual, I'm gonna have some music going in the background. This is gonna be Jeju, their Perilla album. It's kind of a combination of, uh, of Ambient and Bossa Nova. So, but I, I got this album, like, like a week or two ago. I kind of like it. I figured, eh, why not play it here? And yeah, we've got this game's got flickering. Um, it's been a problem here for probably the past week. I've uh, been been doing my pinball streams with the flickering as well, so looks like I'm in that phase. Um, so amazingly, uh, FX3 hasn't crashed. But anyway, uh, matter for another time. Um, one thing I did want to do is uh, I wanted to showcase a new team I got. Um. Yeah, about a about a month or two ago, I got a second Iron Hawk. So let me um for those that uh I guess for those that are told I'm probably the newer players that are just you know don't have a whole lot of cards or anything, and you know they're trying to learn more about the game and teams and whatnot. Um, and this is. I'm kind of also addressing uh, people that check out my Final Fantasy XIV blogs. Um, I might be talking more about this team on there, like when I when I post up my blog. So this video here should should help the uh, the blog readers, you know, kind of give them give them give them an idea as to what I'm talking about. So so I'm not leaving them in the dark. But anyway, so. Um, I, I, it's, it's, it's a working title, it's a placeholder, greedy devil hawk, probably not the most creative, but, um, I could probably go with, one hit of Quetta, uh, I thought about this, but, Ah, fuck it, I'll go with it. Here, let me... Let me see if I can type that all out. Oh, and by the way, I am doing this on the spur of the moment. And on top of it, on top of this, um, I... Ideally, I want to cut this... Keep this short. Um, I still need to lay down. I just got home from work. And I had just found out that it's vault weekend. And, um... Since I don't play the game very much anymore... Um... My, my supply of gems has slowly been dwindling. So, I don't, I'm, I don't really play enough to, you know, to, to keep the, uh, supply of gems up. So, this is probably going to be one of my few chances that I'm going to have to kind of replenish the stock, so to speak. So, anyway. And we'll just go with that. Like I said, I'm not, a uh, this may, not to offend anyone, but I'm not a, one hit of quitter, I think it's a, it's a type of pot, it's a type of marijuana, like one hit and you're high, that kind of thing, it's like really, it's like really potent pot, but again, I'm straight edge, I don't drink, smoke, or do drugs, but like, so I'm, I don't want to, I don't want to give people the wrong impression. But, I think it's, it's it's better than um the greedy devil hawk or whatever I originally had it, so so we'll just call it the one hit equita. Um uh, but anyway, I'll let me let me explain let me explain how the team works. And yes, there's flickering. I'm sorry, but so greed, uh from the big one. Start battles with full mana. Uh, this is kind of irrelevant. Um, you gain an extra turn afterwards. Then you have uh, Dust Devil. Deal 5 damage to all enemies. Uh, again, 
star battles with full mana, deal five damage to all enemies. Second part, kind of irrelevant as well. The big one though, Ironhawk, deal five damage to all enemies when an ally casts a spell. And I have two. So you're dealing 10 damage to all enemies whenever you cast a spell. So if my calculations are correct, you're gonna be dealing um you're gonna be dealing a, do a total of 25 damage to all enemies. And the reason why it's called the one hit acquitta is uh this is an absolute demon for um explore one runs. Now one huge drawback to this, you guys probably you guys you guys probably noticed there is no hero in the team. So you'll get no class XP with this. Um, so I guess for a newer player who's, you know, all of your classes are really low and stuff, I wouldn't recommend this. Especially if you don't have your elementalist to 100 like I do. The best class in the whole game. So, I mean, I got that. So, let me stop a second. So, in my case... Again, Elementalist is at 100, Dragon Card is at 70. I mean, Sun Spear is at 100, Stormcaller is at 100, Thief's at 100. No, Titan's at 100. So all the, um, all the, quote, important classes, Slayer's at 100. You know, Ruin Priest and Priest, they're not the best. Orb Weavers at 81. So, nearly all my, all my, all my uh, top classes are already pretty high. Monks at 80. Geomancer 82. Death Knight 100. Archer 70. So, most, and then Archmage is 79. So, most if not all these classes, if they're not at the max, they're all pretty high. So. I don't. I don't need my pea shooter team as much. So. But what you can do is um, any class that you have that you don't have 250 wins in, like the machinist here. I don't think I do. No, I only have 28. So. You can still do it like this, though. You can the the wind you get from your equipped class, it still counts. So. But I'll. But again, if my uh, if my math is correct, as long as they're not over twenty five, over twenty five health. then you should be golden. So. And I gotta, I gotta check something else here real quick. Oh. Yeah, I, did, I just got through eating too, so I kinda have the belches right now. So, for this, start with Greed. And that deals uh, 10 damage. And that's going to deal additional 10 damage, and there we go. Um, I don't... And something else I forgot to mention, too. There's a... There's a victory bug. I don't know if... Uh, I don't know if they fixed it. I've, um... I've managed to train myself... To wait until the uh, till the victory screen actually comes up, and then and then click. So I'm. So I wait till that pops up, and then hit hit my button. I don't I don't want to risk crashing the game, especially when I'm in the middle of recording a video. So. 
But yeah, it's it's that quick. It's that quick. Now the only problem you might have is uh when the boss battles come. So this might be a problem. Sixteen. 20, 16, 18. Oh, also, highly recommended, um, do your battles in Cinema Mirage. Uh, monsters generally have the lowest health here, so, and, um, I guess we're about to find out what the, uh, 18, 14, 29. Okay, so Mythic Battles might be a problem. She's got 29, so... So to be on the safe side, I'll take that four match. that'll work too but yeah um you may want to steer clear of the mythic battles and then something else i want to do um i'm gonna go ahead and risk it and then i'll go ahead and say here too i'm only gonna do this once or i should say i'll yeah i um I spent ten dollars getting the uh, five hundred gems at a verse three. I would kind of want a verse two as well because I'm hoping you guys can see this. But yeah. This is very risky, but I guess in the name of science, I'm going to go ahead and try this. Now, I think it was Honest Rob. I think that's the video I saw. Some of the gnome battles, their health is going to be above 25. I don't know which ones. I'm guessing the uh, boss battles, but I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. But I just, I would rather... Re I would rather record and document me doing this and finding out for myself, though. So, yeah. Probably not the best music to listen to for something like this. Feels like it's stopped. Uh, feels like I'm not gonna be getting much sleep. Um, my the floor underneath me is vibrating right now, so it looks like they're gonna start doing some fucking highway construction. So, yeah, cause my floor is going right now. Now's what we're gonna find out. Seconds ago. Oh, I hit the, um, I hit the button too quick before the uh, victory screen came down. 
But I mean, so far so good. I think it's those uh, soul gnomes that are a bit on the tough side. Those that are wondering, um, the reason why I have so many Vault Gs and so many Epic Vault Gs, damn it, I did it again, is that, um, last Vault, I did absolutely nothing. And then the Vault event before that, I did very little. So, I basically had a chance to build up, build up, uh, Vault Gs over time. time sleeping. I thought they were pretty much done with the highway construction. They're just doing like a little bit of a sort of cleaning up. I mean, the construction started in April and that's when they were pretty balls deep in it. They were uh, doing a whole lot of uh, a whole lot of heavy built, some uh, heavy building shit like uh, sometimes literally right outside my apartment door. Or uh, my apartment building, excuse me. And, um, but they're done with my side of the highway. They were working on the uh, other side, which, you know, they're going to have all their, their uh, heavy equipment and all that kind of stuff on the other side, which hardly, hardly an issue. But I'm guessing they must have missed something. So, because, like I said, my floor is vibrating right now, so it's like they're doing it. They're back to doing it on my side of the highway. I'd want to play for for this kind of event. I'd want to play something like hard rock or you know some kind of metal. Here, I'm gonna switch to the next album. Not quite what I'm looking for. At the moment, DNR holy places are dark places. Let me get back into the game. All right, next one. Okay, I guess this will work. Oh, 
fuck is going on? I wasn't in the game. Click. Yeah. V Kai Ahem Perrier. Um uh, it sounds like um classic psychedelic rock. No. Oh. So, as you can see, battles are very quick. But again, you're not getting any class XP out of this at all. So, for newer players, assuming they actually have uh, two Iron Hawks, I wouldn't recommend this. Especially if you don't have the Yellow Metalist class at 100. Oh, that's a rare. Got a rare one. Uh, it's the one and only, though. So, I think he's the one and only um, the Dragonite gnome that, um, go that goes by this. But that Dragonite gnome is super rare. I hardly see him at all, so not that much of an issue. And um, also, it, you don't you don't have to have greed at the top. Um, I think there's another troop, like Sister Mercy or Sister Superior or something like that. But you actually want greed because um, he creates gold. So yeah, you're gonna get at least a hundred gold out of the deal. Or is uh, the sister superior? You don't get anything. And in case I didn't say earlier, I had just gotten home from work, and um, you know, have something to eat, and then I uh, fired up this game. Um, also, I skipped most, I think I skipped nearly all of the dailies, just gonna give them a miss today. I just did the guild event, um, and I'm probably gonna be doing this all weekend. I'll probably skip the dailies on those as well. Just, again, doing just the guild event and going straight to, um, doing vault stuff.
Okay, I gotta turn this down a bit. Oh, and, uh, and I'm also skipping PvP as well. I'll probably skip that all weekend. Unless, uh, um, I think it's the Yellow Kingdom. If it's, um, if it's Blood Frenzied, I might do that one. Because, um, I can usually do those battles pretty quick. But this weekend... Um, doing the vault, known, or doing the known vault stuff, that's the big priority. So, again, um, I think this is something else I forgot to mention earlier, too. Um, the damage you're dealing is a flat number. So, you can do this at any level. As long as, you, um, as long as by some great grand miracle, you have two Iron Hawks. So, you don't have to have a high magic rating. You don't have, need to have super high stats or anything like that. Just two Iron Hawks is all you need. Um, Greed and Dust Devil. You you probably get those under the normal course of play. I can't remember what rarity they are. I want to say just uh, ultra or I want to say just rare. Looks like that's gonna be it. Okay, uh, but that's, I believe that's gonna do it. Um, so I just wanted to, wanted to do a demo of that. Oh, and uh, gotta make sure you go over here. I forgot to I forgot to start up these. So I might I might keep playing a little bit after this. Yeah, I don't want to go through and have to individually click each and every single one. So I'll just do I'll just claim them all. Eight vault keys. So yeah. Uh, but otherwise, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that. And I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.